Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Now I have some great news to share with you. My audience that last weekend I won the Brighton Breezy 2024 tournament. I beat a field of 80 masters, nine players to get to the final and win the final and winning this beautiful hand designed by a local Brighton artist vase trophy. Whatever you like, it's on the side at home and I love it. It was a fantastic event, I was on home turf, so a great win in a strong Masters field. Now, of course, no war is won without a few battle scars along the way, so some blunders were made in the final. Now, I have three of those blunders here for you, three positions for you to work out the correct answer. Now, all three positions are dice doubles. Now, of course, when you roll a double with the dice, your options are multiplied because you can move four checkers instead of two with a standard roll. So it's much easier to make an error or a blunder. Now, after you've seen the positions, I have some, some comments on those positions about the rationale. Obviously, with the benefit of hindsight, it's easy to say. But Pause the video, have a think what you would do with these three positions, and then hopefully you will learn something from my comments afterwards. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, first position. White has a double five to play. Notice how white has one checker on the bar. And also notice the match score. White is three away and green is nine away. So white here has a big match lead. So Obviously one five re-enters, but how do you play the other fives? Okay, so the correct move is to enter and then pick up both checkers landing on your own five point as white and anything else would be a blunder. Now entering and hitting twice leaves green only 13 return shots, any five, plus double four and double two. And the upside when missed is huge for white because you can secure the valuable five point with threes, ones, and some indirects from the midpoint. Now securing a five point is pretty valuable with a match lead because it stops green making that. And of course, playing a holding game, having that point, we can prime, we can blitz. It just gives us some more options. Now here, making the ace point with two of the fives is a blunder. That was incidentally the play I made. Maybe it was fatigue, a lack of focus, who knows. But making the ace point does put two on the bar for green also, but it strips the six point for white, which is rarely correct, and also leaves a disconnected checker in the outfield. Now notice here that if there were five checkers on white six point, so we moved one from white mid to the six point, then it would be a borderline decision on whether to make this play of landing on the five point or making what here is a blunder of making the ace point. So really it matters hugely how many checkers you have on your six and here stripping it is simply the wrong idea so well done if you got that one correct now here white has a double four to play again notice it is three away nine away so the right move is to make a 20 point and a nine point and this is a really good example where two things are simply better than one thing so here we make two new points. Now here also, when green has the six and four points made in their home board, there is a greater priority to make their five point because this disallows green from unstacking their six point with ones and also making the rack structure of a six, five, four. So stepping up is really good. And also, of course, we are up in the match, we have the big match lead. So the advanced anchor also takes on priority. We do not want to get ourselves in a situation where we get those two back checkers stuck 
and we get primed and cubed and maybe even lose a gammon. So we really want to preserve our match lead, make advanced anchor, stop green hemming us in. Also here, the hitting play on the five, you know, yes, we make a new point in board, but we also strip our midpoint. And as said, we leave those two poor guys on the 24 really trapped, which is not what we want to do. We want to get them moving, make the advanced anchor. And the final one is a double three. So we've seen a double five, a double four, and now a double three. So there is something with doubles on the dice in this match that threw me slightly, but here is the third position. Now the right move is 18 to 15 twice, 13 to 10 and eight to five. Now here, white is priming and wants to make the four point next to further contain green's lone checker. Green is slightly up in the race and obviously wants to escape that last back checker. Now playing to the 10 point with that one checker off the mid only leaves a six three shot. But in return for us as white, it gives us an extra 6-2, 6-1, 2-2 and 4-1 to extend the prime. So that is seven extra rolls out of 36 to extend our prime. And we're only giving green a 6-3. Now, although it looks natural to play 13-7 to with a last checker, which is what I did, it then leaves a bad 6-1, 5-1 and 4-1, which is just too many shots. And that is a real good exercise in focus. Now, after playing two days of backgammon and nine matches, of course, I was tired. But, you know, that's no excuse. And you must always, always consider the good and bad roles for yourself afterwards. And here, leaving six shots was just too much. So here we simply make the best play. And also, this would be the correct play if green had the four point made with no blots in board. So it's not that we play one down to the 10 because green has a funky home board with two blots. No, that is irrelevant in its position. We simply make this play so we have more covers to extend our prime and we do not leave those six shots if we roll them next time. So there you are, three positions. Well done if you got those correct. Um, please check out my other videos, lots of learning content out there. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, do come to Brighton, come to the tournament. There's one in January and there's one in the summer. Both great tournaments, lots of international players. Really good to be by the sea in the sun. So come down, say hello, meet me, be great. Uh, to see some other people there. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.